Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of English. Now, snails may not be the most attractive or interesting creatures on the planet, but have you ever stopped to consider what a snail is? Have you ever taken a close look at one? Well, snails are gastropods. They have a single coiled shell and they're found all over the world. I found this one this morning in the park. It gave me the idea to make a daily dose of English about snails. Thanks to digital camera technology, we can take an up-close and personal view of this particular snail. Snails have eyes on stalks. You can see the eyes at the tip of the stalks. The lower pair of stalks are used for finding its way around the environment in which it lives. Humans can have their eyes on stalks, too. This is an expression that means that the person whose eyes are on stalks has seen something very surprising or very attractive. If it feels threatened, a snail can retreat into its shell for protection. Snails move on a muscular organ called a foot. The foot has a layer of slime that the snail lays down on the ground and helps it move along the ground. You can often see a, a trail of silvery slime where a snail has passed. Now one thing that snails are not is fast. In fact it's this quality of slowness that gives us the expression at a snail's pace. If something is progressing at a snail's pace, it's progressing extremely slowly indeed. Emails are fast. They're much faster than real-world mail. For this reason, many people call real-world mail snail mail, because it gets delivered so slowly in comparison to emails. Another animal related to the snail, but lacking a shell, is the slug. They don't have the shell to hide in. They do have their eyes on stalks, like snails, and they do move on a foot on a layer of slime. They're also very slow movers, too. In fact, we have the word sluggish that means to move very slowly and with great effort. Many people don't like slugs and snails because they're rather slimy. They're disgusting. Slugs are especially unattractive. Unless you happen to be another slug, of course. I hope you enjoyed this Daily Dose of English and I'll see you again tomorrow for another one. Goodbye for now.